Um, so let's um, let's move on to uh, today's agenda, just to show you what we are covering. So the one hour workout plan for today is the warm up polls, which we've just done. And then I'm going to take you through the document management options in Zoho CRM. Um, for instance, add in documents to notes using the attachments related list, Daniel Cloud storage options. Uh, and then I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on Zoho WorkDrive, which is the equivalent of Dropbox. Um, and then finally, we're going to have a look at Zoho Sign and also show you the integration uh, within Zoho CRM. Zoho Sign is the digital signature tool uh, that's available within the Zoho Suite. And as always, we've got an interactive Q&A going on today. So, um, so do get involved with that. And uh, if you've got a question uh, specifically about today's topic, then post it in the Q&A and I'll do my best to, um, to answer those at the end of the session. Okay, that's great. So let's, um, let's dive straight in. As I say, Duncan's on the call today, so he'll help you in the Q&A. So, so do, uh, do keep him busy. Okay, so let's go straight on to um, uh, the document management options in Zoho CRM. Okay, so into our normal training environment. And um, I'm going to pick on uh, Sprout Badger today, which is my, my demo contact. So let's, uh, let's go into here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how we can um, add our attachments into the notes section. Uh, so go into a normal contact record. And then on the left, you'll see the two that we're going to be working with today. So we've got notes and here we've got attachments. So when I click on notes on the left hand side, it's always a kind of shortcut to the related list. So, uh, you know, if you wanted to go to activities or products, and you can use this this navigation on the left hand side to um, uh, send the record directly to what we call that related list. But in this case today, we're going to be talking about notes first of all. Now, notes, as you probably already know, um, are a simple place just to add in a note. So here, I'm going to put my demo contact, and it's a crazy email address, and save. So we've talked about notes before. These are really very quick and very hand handy. We can also tag other users. We've talked about that in our um, base training. So we've got our other user, Pete, here. Can you help? But uh, one of the lesser known facts is the ability to add uh, attachments in here. So this is the first place to help with our documentation. Now, when we would use notes for documentation is, is, is in an ad hoc manner. So it's not really adding any structure to it. It's more about um, possibly a quick hit, so a, a review situation or you know a bit of collaboration. And that, let me put that into a little bit of context. So let's, for instance, add in a note here. And um, we're going to at symbol P. So we're going to say, P, can you let me know what you make of this? And we're going to attach our first document so you won't see um, my upload uh, appear in here but the upload has popped up and um, I'm just going to choose uh, my document so let's open this and it's a picture file so we've got Pete Shelley can you let me know what uh, you think of this I'm going to add in a title as well just to add some more clarity so this is um, document review and I'm going to save that attachment. So what you can see in the CRM now is that if you upload a visual, so if you upload a, a, an image, um, then it will appear as an image. So it's a, it's a pretty neat feature if you've got some sort of design that needs reviewing and so on. And as you probably know with the um, at symbol in the notes, because we tagged Pete, he'll now receive a notification at the top right here. So it'll say, uh, you've been tagged in this record so we can go straight to it. So this is not only a really good way of collaborating, it's also a good way of presenting a visual. Um, so we've got this thumbnail within the record. Um, and also it's stored within the record. So the document that we want to store is related to Sprout Badger. So there's never any rooting around inside your file storage to say, where's that document that's associated with, um, with this particular contact? It's right there and it's right in front of us. So although this is... Um, this is a very simple method. It's also ad hoc. There isn't any real structure behind this. It's more about um, the sort of quick collaboration and quick visual. Um, we can also add in other files in here. So again, we click on the attachments. And just to note with the, with the notes, the attachments only gives us an upload facility. Now, you can't actually see that because what it's doing is it's bringing up my Mac Finder uh, to, um, to bring that uh, 
uh, to import that document. It's not actually giving us any cloud storage options, which you'll see in a second when we use the attachment section. So this one is adding a simple document. And again, we can put a title in here and save. So this time we don't get the preview because it is just um, it is just a document, um, but we we do get uh, a sort of thumbnail element to show that there is actually something attached there. Um, interestingly enough, I just uh, on the on the view mode. So if we click on view, it's going to give us a, a a very simple, quick preview. So for images, that works really well. And for documents, if we click on view, it's going to open it up into Zoho Writer, which we're going to talk about in a second. So it's going to open it up into the Zoho world if it's a document or if it's a PowerPoint or indeed a spreadsheet. OK, so that's the, the first tip really is, um, is that you've got the ability to add documents in notes. And you would do that when you, uh, when you just want an ad hoc um, document appended and some notes attached to it. OK, the second element is our attachments. And um, this section here, again, is within the record. So again, it makes it contextual. So let, let, me, let me kind of put that into perspective. So if you have um, a file storage area, and let's say it's, uh, it's based on account, so we've got each of our businesses that we work with, you, will you may have a file storage area for that particular account. But when it comes to the CRM, you can go into a little bit more detail. So the, the document may be associated with a certain deal, or it might be associated in this case with a certain contact, for instance, if it's a, a CV or if it's um, if it's a HR document. Um, so they're gonna be they're gonna be very easy to access and very easy to understand how they relate in the CRM. So let's uh, let's go take a look at that. So our attachment section is here, and when we click on the attach option. We're brought. We're, we're presented with these um, six options. So the first one is, as we've just seen, is an upload. And again, once I click on upload, it will bring up this interface. When I click in here, that's going to go to your um, your local file storage. So let's um, let's again choose uh, the document file that I've got. So that's going to choose the image and attach. And then it will simply put that attachment in in the attachments related list with our specific options here so view again is going to bring up the view we've also got the option to download it um, we've got the ability if we added it to go in and delete it or we've got the ability to download um, as you can see it will also give a little bit of um, history who it's attached by so that will be the different users in your organization and uh, and the date of addition and the size and i'm going to talk about the um the storage limits within crm and what you have available and how you can add more um, so there's, that's a very simple option, is just the upload. Let's look at some of the second options. So here we've got attach and we've got documents. Now this is a bit of a, a lesser known area in, in CRM and it's in, uh, it's in all versions of Zoho CRM. There is a module called documents. So first of all, let's just, um, let's just click on that. And that will bring up this, uh, this small neat interface here. Which, um, which is saying attach from documents. And I'm going to show you where that actually is. So well, let's just choose one for example. So I'm going to choose this docx here and attach. And it will very, very simply just uh, create the attachment from our um, Zoho documents. So where is this stored? Let's just go to the view options. So it's the same one. Sorry here. So we're going to click on view and that's going to open up our writer, writer interface, which is just to uh, document for examples purposes. So these ones, where they're stored, well, they're stored within the CRM. And um, there is a module, which if you go to your um, three dots and it's enabled, it's a module called Documents. So click on Documents, and that will bring up a very simple interface. It actually looks um, a little dated, but it's still really useful. Uh, in that it's in CRM, you know, you don't need any additional tools for this. It is right there sitting in CRM ready to use. Please just bear with me a second. Um, so I quite like the simplicity of um, this documents module. Um, if you don't have any other tools available, it's sitting right in there, it is secure, and it's got the ability to um, to share between users. So let me just show you that and, and, and show you some examples. So in here, uh, we've got all files, which is just the open public space. So this is where you would just store something if it's um, if it's not secure. 
Um, it then does um, some simple segmentation. So if it's a document um, file, so in this case, it's either a, a spreadsheet or a, or a document, a Word document, uh, then it will store it within documents. Pictures will be stored within pictures, so it recognizes the file extension. Uh, and if you do store music and videos, then it will also recognize the file extension. Uh, as usual with Zoho stuff, we can favorite it and it will appear in our favorites folder. And then here we've got the ability to create folders. So you can see in this instance, we've got a just me folder, which which presents some user security. So um, the only, only user that can see this particular um, folder is just me, as it, uh, as it rightly says. So let's um, just have a look at that. When I edit it, you can see that it's just me and it's only me that can see it. But if I did want to share it, I could click on others and then go in and add the other users as I need to, so Pete can go in and see this one. Let me cancel that. And if I go and create a folder, you'll be able to see that from the start. So let's call this one marketing team and create. <clears throat> Sorry, bear with me. So marketing team is in just me. I didn't really want to put it there. I wanted to put it here. Let's go to all files. Now we'll call this one sales team and click on others. And we're going to add in Pete to this one and create a subfolder. So now we've got the sales team, which is shared. Uh, that one's just me. You can see the little logo icon on it. So that one's shared between uh, Pete and I. And now what we're going to do is we can simply upload a document into here. So again, it's brought up my finder. I'm going to add in the newsletter. So that's popped it in here and start the upload these are only small documents so that shouldn't take a second so now the newsletter is shared between the crm users pete and steve uh, so obviously you can create folders within your crm within the documents uh, module which will allow you to share them accordingly with the right users so it brings an element of security in there so let's go back to um my record back to sprite badger and go to our attachments. And now when we go to attach and use documents, you'll be able to see that our folders, including the sales team we just created is sitting there. And we can select the file that I just uploaded and attach. Okay, so really simple, very, very simple, straightforward process. Um, but also the big advantage of documents is that it's already in CRM ready for you to use. Okay, so the next one, um, we're going to talk about is Zoho Work Drive. Now, this one is the um, super version of Documents and also Zoho Docs. So, Zoho Docs is going to get replaced by Zoho Work Drive. This is only really here for legacy purposes, just in case any um, uh, clients are still using Zoho Docs. But Zoho Work Drive is the is the direct replacement for it. So, let's take a look at uh, Zoho Work Drive. I'm going to click on that and open it up. And let me just talk about um, Work Drive and the options. So Work Drive is included within Zoho One. So if you're a Zoho One subscriber, then you'll need to add Work Drive to your um, to your list of apps in Zoho One, uh, and it will it will um, automatically be available in CRM. Um, if you're a CRM Plus subscriber, then you'll need you'll need to subscribe to the Zoho Work Drive separately. And also, if you're just single products, then also you'll need to subscribe to Zoho Work Drive. But uh, if you need any any assistance with that, just get in touch with us, and we'll be more than happy to help out. So this has brought up the Zoho Work Drive interface, which you can see is a little bit more modern than the um, CRM documents. This is this is the the tool that they're going to be developing over um, uh, the course of the next few years. So it is their their core focus for storage solution. And uh, in here, you'll be able to see the documents that are available um, within Zoho Work Drive. So let's go to our 1HW test folder. And we're just going to attach this uh, professional. Um, we can do multiple, actually. Let's do multiple so you can see the multiple ones being added there. And we're going to click on pick. And uh, here we've then got who can access. So members with access permission in Work Drive members of the um, demo uh, of the, the team in work drive so that's um that's uh, you know pretty much everybody who's in the team in work drive and then anyone on the internet i wouldn't suggest you click that um, unless you have a specific reason for it 
So let's apply that one. And uh, it's now added in those uh, those two elements. And you can also see there's no size on here. And that's because these documents are stored within Zoho Work Drive. Now, this is important to note because every time we have storage sizes here, this is taking up storage within Zoho CRM. And there's a reason why you might want to consider not doing that. And that's because storage within Zoho CRM isn't the most cost effective. So in other words, if you if you have a work drive subscription, then it's best to store documents within work drive because you get a much greater capacity in there than you do in Zoho CRM. So if you're seeing these sizes appear here, then that should be a flag to you, um, especially if you're doing this on a grand scale, that you may need to look at a cloud storage solution offering. Uh, and if you have work drive, then that's great. If you use Dropbox, then there's there's other options. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delve into um, the work drive interface itself. So what we saw was the pop up from Zoho CRM. Uh, and now we're going to go into into actually into actual work drive. So first of all, when we when we come into the main screen, um, we're just going to see a kind of uh, normal uh, navigation interface where we've got all of our unread documents, uh, any recent files we've been working on, any that are favorited. Um, we also have the ability to add labels. So you can see here I've added a, a one hour workout label. Um, if I just show you that in action, then we can enter a new label. So we might have um, sales, for instance, and we want to apply a green color to that. Then we can add in the different labels so we can kind of tag our documents and add a little bit more management to it in that case. We've also got a my folders, which is your own personal ones shared with me, which you'll recognize if you've um, used Dropbox before. And a collect files, which is a bit of a new feature, is the ability to email in documents. So, um, so it helps with some of our integrations and things like that. And then the uh, security side, you'll see team folders here, uh, which is the same as what I've just described. So up here, we've got our one hour workout test where you can see this one is shared with two users, with Steve and with Pete. Um, and we can go in uh, and when we create a team folder, we can choose. So let's call this one our sales department. We can choose whether this one is going to be public uh, or whether it's just uh, private with on the team members who've been added. So if it's public, then anybody who's in WorkDrive is going to be able to access it. But if it's private, then we, we have to go in and invite them. So let's uh, create that private one. And then we can add in our users. So we're going to add Pete. And he's got the role of editor, although you can adjust it to be full control admin right down to just having the ability to view that. OK, and go to team folder. And now we've got our sales department folder, which has got a little lock on it to show that it's only down to certain users. So it's a private folder. Um, so that's the very simple navigation on, um, on WorkDrive. And what I'm going to show you now is just the ability to um, even replace or um, have an alternative to your collaboration Sorry, your productivity suite, um, which by that I mean something like Office 365 or local Word and PowerPoint. Uh, you may use Google Docs, um, but this is um, it is pretty much the same thing, but in the Zoho world. So let's just take a look at the options we have. So within Work Drive, if we click on New, um, then you'll see here we have Zoho Writer, which is the equivalent of Word. Uh, we have Zoho Sheet, which is the equivalent of um, Excel and Zoho Show, which is the equivalent of PowerPoint. So if we go to Zoho Writer, I'm going to click on Use Template. Um, and if I click on Public Templates, then we'll get some better examples. So let's choose this um, billable NDA for a sign and use this template. And that's going to bring up my Zoho Writer interface, um, which um, you know, it's pretty pretty familiar in terms of it's a document that we're now able to edit. Um, and if I just go in and start typing, and you'll see it keeps it fairly clean at this stage. But if we click the um, top left hand side, then that will bring up the editing facilities that you're probably used to with Word or any other type of solution that you use. Um, so you know, we've got the ability to go in and play around with it and do what we need to do. No need to go into detail on that. Everybody knows what um, what a word processor is these days. Uh, so the advantage is this is cloud, cloud stored. 
So there's no um, save icon. We don't actually have to go in and click on the save button. It saves pretty much instantly as soon as we make any changes. So this document now is going to be available within our work drive. So it's here, billable NDA for sign. Um, so if we want to come back into it, we can easily come back in uh, and, and start editing that. One of the things that uh, does kind of catch you out in, in WorkDrive is a document only becomes visible for other users once it's marked as ready. So to do that, select the document and click on the three dots and click mark as ready. And then that will be visible for the other users. Um, so that sometimes catches you out. You, you know, you create a document, it's still in draft mode. It means you're still working on it. And then it doesn't appear in your um, in your uh, Zoho CRM for attachments because it's not marked as ready. Uh, so just remember that one. And then let's have a look at the second one. So we click on new and we can click on um, a blank spreadsheet. I don't think there's any templates for spreadsheets. And you'll recognize this as something very similar to Excel. So this is Zoho sheet. And it's pretty much got the same facilities you'd expect um, in it as, as you would in Excel. Um, so this one, I don't know why I've put that date. That seems pretty old. So we've got the same facilities as we have in Excel. And um, yeah, there we go, very simple. I, I don't need to go into detail. There's, uh, there's all, this, all the same options as you would have um, in any spreadsheet, but again, it's cloud storage, so it's easy to organize and it's in the right place. So now we've got our similar to Excel document in there as well in our sales department. And then the final one I want to show you is Zoho Show. So that's going to open up Zoho Show, which you'll recognize we use for our one hour workouts. And um, we've got some templates in here, which I'm going to go and choose this theme. Cool. Oh. And then the normal editing facilities for um, for PowerPoint. So we can go in and create new slides and add text and bullets and everything else that you'd expect for a PowerPoint. Okay. And then finally, we've now got Word document, spreadsheet, and a PowerPoint slide. Let's mark these two as ready so we can do the multiple select and mark as ready. And those documents are now available for us in our work drive. Um, as always with Zoho, you've got the ability to go in and search. So if we wanted to search for the ones we just created, then go through and click on the search and you'll find the document very easily. So it's, it's pretty efficient in terms of um, in terms of using it alongside or uh, instead of something like Dropbox or Google Drive. Okay, so how does that relate to CRM? Well, if we go back now and attach from WorkDrive, then we'll see our new sales department and we'll also see the documents that we just created. So we're going to select all three of those and pick and apply that one. And very, very easily, no size um, impact on Zoho CRM. They were also easy to create and now they've been made available as attachments in here. Um, and that option when we when we pick them and attach them, we've also got the security control at this level as well. So because it's not stored in CRM, if a user comes into this record and sees this here, but they don't have access, then they're not going to be able to access that document. So you've got an extra layer of security with these ones. Once you upload it, that's part of the CRM. So if someone have, has access to um, this record in the CRM, then they'll also have access to this document. So, um, so it's an extra layer of security to use WorkDrive because um, because it's controlling that user level access to the documentation. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a flavour um, and really a, a sort of simplicity um, to using WorkDrive for your documentation. Um, instead of using other tools, which you then have to attach and upload and 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 um, kind of attach the two things together, but with CRM and WorkDrive integrated, it presents a pretty neat solution. Okay, so let me just look at um, 
a final couple of options. So Google Drive is really just a kind of one click demo. So if you do use Google, then you've got the ability to attach from Google Drive exactly the same principle as what we had before, um, where we can go in and select the document and click on OK there. And that will uh, attach to the uh, cloud storage in Google. Take a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Um, and as you can see here, that's actually taken up a little bit of storage in CRM. So it's actually created the document within CRM, but it's a link out to the Google Drive. So again, not, um, not as efficient or not as advantageous as using WorkDrive. And then the final option is the link or URL. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate that is I'm just going to go back to our sales department. And for this similar to Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to create a permalink. So this will give us an external link uh, where we can go in. Um, who can access it? Well, anyone on the internet. They're going to be glad to access this one. And we're going to save that. And then copy the permalink. So this one is the one that's available to everybody. And then back in CRM, and when we attach this time, we're going to use a link um, URL. So we can now paste in this permalink and attach. And that will give us the um, it would it will give us the link to the document. So obviously, when I when I click this link, that's going to open up um, a fancy spreadsheet. But likewise, if you've got a document that's stored elsewhere, so if it's stored in um, in Dropbox or SharePoint or even just an internet document, then you've got the ability to go in and um, and add the link. Uh, so you know you can pretty much integrate any storage in there as long as you're um, as long as you're opening up the permalinks. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a really good idea um, on the documentation options within attachments. Okay, so let me um, come back in and we're going to talk about Zoho Sign now. Uh, so Zoho Sign is the digital signature tool. Um, so let me just uh, go to the headline page for you. So Zoho Sign, if you've not come across it before, is the equivalent of um, DocuSign, uh, which is the industry standard. Uh, but of course, with anything Zoho, it pretty much does the same thing, um, but it's built into um, Zoho One and also integrated with Zoho CRM. And again, if you're a CRM Plus subscriber, then Zoho Sign is a separate product uh, and also available as a standalone product as well. Uh, so Zoho Sign allows us, if you've not used digital signatures before, it allows us to take a document or any, any type of file, really, um, and apply signatures to that file and send it off to our um, end users and our customers for the digital signature uh, so that you've got a legally binding document in the digital world. Um, so obviously, you know, it's really useful for um, for all sorts of sectors, but uh, particularly sort of legal and finance, um, you, you know, the big users of these types of, uh, of documents. So it's big savings and also in the in the new environment where pretty much everything is digital, it's um, it's going to become increasingly important where we can't sign face to face. Um, so, so, you know, um, technology is driving all of our behaviors right now. So let's um, take a look at it in Zoho Sign, first of all. So to access it, go to sign.zoho.com or sign.zoho.eu, depending on which one you're on. And um, it will bring up a very, very straightforward interface, which is send for signatures or sign yourself. Um, and I'm going to choose send for signatures. And again, you'll see the upload or import option. So just follow this wizard through, um, upload or import. If I choose the upload, then that's going to bring up my um, finder. Um, and the import option, if I click on import, is going to bring up uh, some other options, actually. So Zoho Sign is integrated natively with um, Dropbox and Box and WorkDrive, as well as the other ones that we talked about. Uh, so let's uh, let's go to WorkDrive. And here you've got this little interface. Uh, do you see that drop down? So that's uh, not instantly recognizable. Click on import and uh, click the three dots, sales department. And we've got here our fillable NDA for sign. Um, so let's choose this one and attach. So that's going to upload our document that we did earlier. OK, so we have that document available now. Um, 
and uh, it's automatically populated the document name with the file name although we could go through and just make some changes to this uh, so document version one or you can title it what you need to title it uh, we then add our recipients so obviously the people who are going to receive this document and we've got an option here to send in order or to send it to everybody at the same time uh, so in our email i'm just going to type in uh, my uh, spritebadger at gmail.com and uh, it's got the name here and you can see I've already sent it before and then our options needs to sign receives a copy in person so if they're coming in to sign it or someone who's approving this signature but in this case we're going to keep it at um, needs to sign and you've also got some options for multilingual support as well should you need it let's now add someone else and um sorry i didn't want to add someone else we could add someone else if we wanted to so you just put in the next email address if they're another signer or an approver um but what i actually want to do is add me so click on add me and that will put myself down as a signature and uh, and needs to sign as well okay uh, there is some more settings here so the days to complete the default is 15 so two weeks uh, which may be a little bit long, so let's change that to two days. And also, the agreement is valid until. Um, so, if there's an expiry date on it, for instance, let's say it's a quote that's um, that's expiring at the end of the month, then you can go in and select the date and just put the um, put the date in. Oh, sorry, two days to complete. Not to worry. First of June 21 and uh, document type. We can enter the document type. So this one is a legal document. And if we want to store it in a subfolder, then we can go in and enter the folder name. And also we can put a description in. So document is for NDA. And then here we have automatic reminders. So if they don't fill it in, then we can send an automatic reminder every one day or every five days or every 10 days, whatever's relevant. And then the note to all recipients would be our content. So please complete the NDA. So you've got some more options there, basically, which um, allow you to uh, communicate effectively with the client when you're sending it for a signature. So click on continue once you've completed that form. And that will bring up your document. And here, it's automatically done this for us. It's been quite smart. But I'm going to show you how to um, drag these in. So you can see our two signatories on the top right hand side. So these are the recipients. We've got Sprite Badger, the external party, and we've got myself uh, as the CRM user. And what Zoho Sign has done here is it's recognized the signature, the printed name and the date at the bottom of the document. And so it's dragged in the correct field. Now, if you want to drag in other fields, so for instance, let's drag in a checkbox field, then this checkbox needs to be completed by Sprite Badger. If we want Steve to complete a document, so we want him to add his initial, then we can drag the initial field in and let's put that in here. So you can pretty much populate this with um, the fields that you want to add into the document. You can also resize the fields. So if you've got a, a, a document that's a little bit um, a little bit more fuller than this one, then you'll be able to squeeze those um, signatures right down that will increase it for that okay so really straightforward just drag and drop the fields into the right place within the document um, once you've done that uh, you can click on send and that's going to say please verify number of fields so we've got four fields for spray badger which is the three main fields in the checkbox i added and then five fields for um, ourselves let's confirm that and so it's going to send the document for signature. So now in our documents one, we have um, sent all in progress, which is the ones that we've currently got, uh, completed, which is the ones that I did earlier. So you've always got a record of the documents. And then should you get any decline, they'll sit in your decline folder. Expired is the ones we put an expiry date on. And any draft ones that we're working on are sitting in draft. OK, so let's see what that looks like at the client side. So in here now, I'm going to come to my Gmail folder. And you'll see that we've got 
our document, legal document, sorry, um, that's from earlier. This one here is the new notification, so the fillable NDA. So I'm going to click on that, and it brings up this very simple notification. Um, these, as usual, within Zoho can be amended. Um, so it's going to show us who the sender is, the organization name when it expires, and then the message that we put in earlier, please complete the NDA. So the end user is going to click on start signing. And they're brought up this very, very simple interface. Let's proceed to the document. And that's going to bring up the document that we uploaded. The first thing they have to do is confirm that they've understood the um, disclosure, which pretty much makes it a legal document. Agree and continue. And then that it will take you then to the fields that you need to complete and fill in. Uh, it's pretty easy for the end user. They just need to click on the, um, the fields themselves. And uh, we've then got some options here for your signature. So this will this will do a kind of um, uh, version of a signature. So you can see there we've got Sprout Badger. Or we can draw it, which is um, pretty difficult with a mouse. Let's click on OK. That's added it there. Or we can upload an image file of our actual signature. The usual process, and again, legally binding. Um, you can click on this option, and that's probably the easiest and neatest. Uh, we have our tick box, which we've ticked. It's kind of sitting underneath our, um, our field there. And type or print full name. So we can just type in. Nearly put my own name, but of course, I'm representing this guy today. And then the sign date, you just click once, and it will apply the date. And then once it's done, the end user clicks on finish. They can uh, have it emailed to them or download a copy. So we're going to click on email so that will get emailed through. Super stuff. So really simple for the end user. So for your, for your clients using Zoho Sign, it's a straightforward process. You know, they're not, you're not going to get um, uh, numerous support calls saying they can't use it. It really is a, a wizard driven uh, solution and one that, um, one that makes life very easy. Uh, so let's go back to our documents now and we'll go to in progress and uh, this document needs to be signed by ourselves um, so let's um, let me just remind myself how to do that so here need your signature on the home page we're going to click on need your signature and we follow the same process even though it's inside zoho sign it's exactly the same so we're going to agree and continue. Put in Steve Diggle. And we have to initial it. Sign. I'm literally just one click in here, apart from this one. OK, so now it's completed. And we're going to click on Finish. And then when we go back to Zoho Sign, We can now see in the documents that that uh, fillable NDA has now been completed status. So we can see who it's been signed by, when it was created, and so on. And if we want to ever review that, or we need uh, any evidence, then we have our uh, dates, we have the timestamps, and everything that we need in order to uh, to refer back to that document should we need to. I can also download a completion certificate, or we can view the document itself with the signatures in it. So very straightforward. And um, to complete the loop now, so that's Zoho Sign uh, as an individual product. So if I go back to CRM, uh, what we want to do is show this as an integrated service. So how do we do that? Um, well, first of all, if it's not in your CRM, you can go to the setup and click on Marketplace All. And in there, go in and search for Zoho Sign. And it's the Marketplace app actually from Zoho. So that's sitting here, Zoho Sign for Zoho CRM. And you'll open up this one and then simply click on the install. And yeah, this is very safe. This one's from Zoho Corporation. So I always check the security of these. Uh, but this one is from Zoho. And uh, you've got a little bit of a guide as to how it um, how it will work, along with some screenshots. Um, and also some pretty good reviews for this one, actually. Um, it starts with a one star, but ultimately the reviews are, in general, pretty good because it works. And then you'll see that we've installed that. Um, uh, we've installed the plugin. 
uh, within our Zoho CRM. So it appears in your install plugins and you can click on configure. And in here, you'll see that it's installed across most modules. So we're going to have a look at it in the contacts module. So let's go to contacts and actually go into our contacts. And then this time, when we um, want to send a digital signature, we've got our Zoho sign documents down here. So use the custom button. We're going to go with send with Zoho sign. And that will bring up our interface where we can then choose uh, a document. So let's choose from desktop. And choose our legal document. And then click on next. And that will show us our legal document where we've then got the ability to do exactly we, as we did in Zoho Sign. So we can send it in order. We can add ourselves. But in this case, we're just going to go with send it to the end client with needs to sign. And put in our notes, please sign. And click on continue. Uh, this time we can drag our fields into um, the signature area. So we're just going to put a signature for Sprite Badger. And click on send and confirm so that's done within the crm interface so now if we go to um, our gmail inbox so here it is and we can start signing just as we did before so let's do this very quickly click on our signature oh agree first and then click our signature and select and when we finish, that's going to complete the document. And when we go back to Zoho CRM, let's refresh the record. We can now see our signed documents um, visible here. OK, so let's just uh, recap on what we've covered today. So uh, within Zoho CRM, we've covered the document management elements that are available to you, uh, the ability to add ad hoc documents to notes and use that for collaboration. Uh, the different options available within attachments, um, you know, such as uh, connecting to third party uh, cloud storage, such as Google, or using the inbuilt work drive feature. Uh, cloud storage options, um, so where uh, you've got the ability to add those. I've also taken you through a very brief overview of Zoho Work Drive and the productivity tools in there, so writer, sheet, and show. And then finally, we've had, uh, had a look at Zoho Sign for digital signatures. So hopefully that's been very useful for you today. Uh, as always, we appreciate your feedback on our one-hour workouts. Um, and um, if you do have any Q&A, we'll stay online for the next uh, five minutes or so until 11. Other than that, thank you very much for attending again today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week for our one-hour workouts. Thanks again. Bye-bye.